Hello, dear fellow scholars. I'm Fang Guang from Wuhan University. Today, I'll present you our paper, an online learning approach for client slash federated as learning and budget constraints. First, it's about background and motivation. Federated learning is a kind of distributed machine learning, which enables clients to train a global model. In federated learning, each client participates in training using its local data and then sends model updates to a server. These model updates are aggregated to update the global model. However, each client is heterogeneous by nature, dramatically impacting the training quality. Correspondingly, client selection becomes increasingly essential for high quality federated learning. In fact, client selection still encounters technical challenges. First, the available clients are time varied. Also, the training data of each client is generally time varied. In addition, the wireless communication between client and server can be asymmetric and unstable. These uncertainties increase the difficulty of selecting the proper client selection in real time. Second, Model training needs thousands of computational iterations. In each iteration, all clients use their own data to update the local model. The trained model, sh model should a uh, guarantee convergence, which is the most important for using federated learning. Third, leasing the clients would incur considerable costs. Thus, given the long-term budget, spending strategically in federated learning procedure is necessary since it may significantly affect model convergence. Considering the above factors, a fundamental problem for federated learning training is that how to minimize the completion time while satisfying the long-term budget and convergence requirements when facing time-varying clients, dynamic data, and stochastic computation and communication time. Our results are as follows. First, we modeled a target scenario of federated learning and reformulate the problem to take the above challenges. Second, we designed an online learning-based framework failure to solve the proposed minimization problem. Third, both theoretical analysis and experiments verify that a failure can achieve near to optimal performance. Then, it's our system model. Assume with figure 1, we consider a federated learning system with a class server and n clients. The training usually needs multiple communication apps to convert. The workflow of one communication app includes four steps. First, each participating client downloads the global model. Then, each client conducts local training using a data set. Next, clients upload local updates to the central server. Finally, the server aggregates the updates to learn a global model. We first introduce the iteration latency of each client, consisting of three parts, iterations of an epoch, model computation time, and model transmission time. The latency can be observed by the central server at the end of each epoch. Since federated learning is a kind of distributed machine learning, the latency of one epoch is determined by the straggler, that is, the slowest client. We aim to minimize the overall completion time while ensuring model convergence and satisfying budget constraints. Constraints 3A ensures the long term cost of rating clients cannot exceed budget. To ensure the quality of model training, Constraints 3B guarantees at least n participants should be involved in each epoch. Constraints 3C and 3D indicate the uh, convergence requirements of the local model and global model, respectively. Solving this problem is challenging. First, the online solution requires guaranteeing the outbound regret. This requirement should increase the difficulty of algorithm design. Second, some dynamic inputs are only observed as control decisions are made in T. Served due to the long-term constraint, the time horizon relies on a given budget. It is difficult to dynamically manage the limited budget while minimizing the overall latency. 
That's the most important. A minimization problem is a mixed integer program with nonlinear terms. How can we solve it in an online manner efficiently? Faced with these challenges, our algorithm designs as follows. It is the main idea of our algorithm framework. We first convert nonlinear terms into linear terms and we aggregate control decisions. After that, we estimate the range of st stopping effort for a given budget. Finally, we reformulate a rational problem to a convex program. To solve P2, we derive the relaxation. By solving each one short problem, the selection and iteration decisions can be obtained. Specifically, based on current inputs and current decisions, Theta predicts fractional decisions for the next effort through a novel online learning method. Then, the selection decisions can be translated into integers by online rounding algorithm without violating any constraints. Specifically, we first normalize a micron and introduce the inequality to convert nonlinear terms into linear terms. After that, we use the aggregation of control decisions. Given long-term budget, the stopping effort has a range. Meanwhile, we introduce new notations. Ft corresponds to the objective function of P1. P and Q correspond to constraints 3a and 3b. Ht corresponds to constraints 3c and 3d. Therefore, the original problem is reformulated. Our aim is to make decisions online. However, some system inputs can be known after decisions 5t are made, which is a typical scenario of online learning. To this end, we develop an efficient online learning algorithm. Now we design an efficient online learning algorithm by alternately optimizing primal variables and Lagrange multipliers. First, we relax constraint 5D and then solve a one-shot problem. Then, solving P3D is actually to, equivalent to solving the problem of equation 7. The objective function is the representation of Lagrange function, and mu is the corresponding Lagrange multiplier. Then, our online learning algorithm ultimately minimizes LT regarding to 5 through the modified descent step and maximizes LT regarding to mu through the standard ascent step. Specifically, we derive the following decision based on the current information. Theta is elaborated in algorithm 1. First, the server broadcasts global model to each client. Then, we can derive decisions by calling algorithm 2. After that, the clients train the local models and the server aggregates local models to a global model. Due to the property of dynamic inputs, any online algorithm may excessively validate the convergence of local model and global model. Thus, we can penalize these violations. Like rich multiplier is optimized as follows. Finally, we obtain the next effort decision by uh, alternately optimizing uh, primal variables and language multipliers using dedicated descent ascent steps. Clearly, updating mu and phi only require observable knowledge in T, which is the core idea of our, our uh, online learning algorithm. Know that our aggregation method is similar to that of the classical algorithm fat every. Given constraint 3e, fraction decisions are to be rounded into integral numbers. Therefore, we design a randomized dependent client selection algorithm. Our rounding algorithm explores the independence of selection decisions. The basic idea is rounded up decisions can compensate to, for a rounded down decision. The decisions are not run, rounded up or down aggressively using uh, this dependent rounding algorithm. 
The detail of rounding algorithm is presented in algorithm 2, consisting of two steps. First, two rules are obtained. Next, the two rules are used as the probability to round the fraction into an integer. We evaluate the practical performance of our algorithm through experiments. We implement a federated learning system consisting of one server and 100 clients simulated by a lab like thread, each running a real-world Pythos model. As for uh, client heterogeneity, local training time and uploading model of each client is actual runtime, and the rating costs are uniformly distributed in closed interval from 0 0.1 to 12. We evaluated further by training popular C models on two benchmark datasets, fashion M less than C for 10. We compare our algorithm with three benchmarks. We fed every snacks clients randomly and trains a global model on clients. FedCS snacks as many clients as possible to train and terminates the model training upon a fixed deadline. Paul D emphasizes the selection fairness and then snacks clients with larger local losses. Note that all the algorithms mentioned above cannot derive the real variable available clients and uh, local convergence in advance because the training process is online. These two figures show the accuracy regarding to the time spent on different datasets. It can be observed that this algorithm needs more training time to reach higher accuracy. In the beginning, FedCS has a significant advantage. As time goes, Fedo can catch up with FedCS and gradually surpass FedCS. Finally, the training time of Fedo is shorter among the selection strategies. For example, in Figure 2, the training time that stabilizes about 70% accuracy are 390 seconds, 650 seconds, 650 seconds, and 1,290 seconds, respectively. Figure 2 and Figure 3 illustrate that FedEx can reduce training time with reaching target accuracy. Figure 4 and 5 illustrate how a scheme performs in federated rounds. We can observe that First, to achieve a target accuracy, the federated round of FEDO is shorter. For example, for training on the double IDC510 dataset, the accuracy of FEDO, FEDCS, FED average, and PAL D is 74.06%, 70 78.44%, and 62.7% after 200 federated rounds. To achieve an accuracy of 60%, the federated round of the, those schemes is uh, 52, 72, uh, 86, and 122, respectively. Second, when training on non double ID datasets, all skin accuracy fractures to some degrees, but FEDO is the most stable. For instance, if we could five in a training process, after 200 rounds of training, the accuracy of Paul D, FED, FED average, and FED CS varies from 42% to 55%, 50% to 62%, and 52% uh, to 63% respectively. In contrast, the accuracy of FEDA is relatively over 64%. Figure 6 and Figure 7 further investigate the constraints effects on training tasks. When the budget is small, there is a considerable gap between FEDA and the benchmarks. As the budget increases, the benchmarks can perform more rounds of model training. In contrast, FEDO has no noticeable decrease in trend and consistently preserves lower losses even with a small budget. That is to say, FEDO can finish federated learning tasks with less budget. And finally, we conclude our work. 
This paper studies the federal rated edge learning for clients. We prove an online learning based algorithm to minimize overall training time. Meanwhile, we prove the theoretical performance guarantee of FedEx. Finally, experimental results show that our algorithm performs well. That's our present for you today. Thanks for watching for your generous support.